Hello, my Bruder. Well, I want to make you a, a formal video so you can learn how to make that fucking goulash. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you exactly how I prepare it. Okay, so here's your shopping list. We're going to need two pounds of beef, one yellow onion, marjoram, which is a spice like herbs, like parsley, three tablespoons of paprika, three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of oil, one red bell pepper, and actually the next, all the vegetables are optional, so decide on what you like. I like to put uh, red bell peppers and orange bell peppers, and I do them in a really uh, thin slice. Tomato paste, a really small can, beef stock, that's gonna be one quart, and then one cup of water. If you don't have beef stock, that's gonna be three cups of water. Heavy whipping cream, salt, and black pepper. All right, so we're gonna take the beef, and we're going to cut off all the necessary fat, make it nice and clean. And we're gonna dice up the onions. This is the preferred method that I do. And I just kind of chop it like this and then turn it sideways and chop it like that. The red bell peppers, make sure to empty out the innards and we're going to get another little cutting board over here and get those in there, get that out. And we're gonna cut them in thin slices. You can also dice them if you'd like. I like to go either or. All right, so I have my paprika and my flour and then I'm gonna go ahead and combine them both. I'm gonna usually use a small spoon and I just kinda stir it up until it's well blended, just like so. Okay, we're gonna grab the beef here and I'm going to add the marjoram first so I can kinda coat all the beef with the marjoram. Just gonna mix that around, blah, 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 blah. And now we're gonna add in the mixture of flour and paprika and I like to wear gloves because it gets kinda messy and use my hands to kinda really coat the beef all over and get that going and of course we're gonna take the gloves off now we're done with this all right I like to use olive oil or vegetable oil either or this is a sauteing type olive oil I'm gonna set the heat up to uh, high and then we're gonna after everything's kind of going the oils going in there we're gonna go ahead and add the beef into there if you have one of these pots, make sure you keep stirring or it's going to stick to the bottom. If it's a non-stick, you can, you know, just make sure you don't let it stick to the bottom. If you do have it stick to the bottom like I have right there, you go ahead and scrape it because that's going to be good for cooking like I have here. And make sure you take that beef out to the side bowl there. Add the onions into the mix. Make sure you have plenty of oil to go along with that. And stir it until they start to caramelize. All right, now we're going to add the beef into the pot and add the beef stock. Add it all in there, that big quart. And of course, the, the water. Um, I don't really am ever exact. I did tell you one cup of water, but I just like to fill it up a pretty good amount and then let it boil for an hour. And we're gonna put it on a medium high kind of setting. And then after an hour, you didn't see it, but I added the bell peppers in here. You do that up about an hour of boiling the beef so it gets real soft. So after all that, we're going to add in the tomato paste. All right, good, good, just add it in there. Stir it all nicely, make sure you don't not stir it. You need to make sure that you don't let that stuff gunk up to the bottom of the pan. So you have to stir it until it all dissolves. And then brown sugar. Oh, I didn't put that into the recipe, but that's okay. A little brown sugar goes a long way, so don't go crazy with it. Um, I'd probably think a tablespoon would be a good amount of brown sugar. All right, so I got everything going in there. Been going for another half an hour. Got the mushrooms, peas. Get some color going here. Got mushrooms, peas, bell peppers, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, now you just have to, once that's all done, uh, you know, maybe a few minutes. Let me get the beef down to the softness you like. You can add this in and put as much as you want to put in, but don't go crazy. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. I usually, for this much, which is a lot, I probably put in about, about uh, half of this, which is uh, two cups. Well, thanks for joining me today. It was my first ever cooking video here on my channel. I mostly made this for my brother, so he could learn how to make my goulash, my mom's inspired recipe. So, uh, yeah, I guess now you'll be able to do it as well. Y'all have a great day.